I first met Captain Anderson, his battalion commander at the time, worked next door to me and called and said, hey, I've got a, I've got a young captain that wants to compete in the Army Combatives Tournament. And, you know, I know that you wrestle and have done some combatives as a lieutenant colonel. I said, why don't you, you know, come roll with him and see if you can't help him out and, you know, give him some pointers. And so I did. I went and rolled with him. This was probably in 2010. And uh, I only had to roll with him once to know that I really didn't have a whole lot to offer him except like a, being a throwing dummy. Instead of getting a whole Fort Benning team together, which just wasn't seeming to work, we you know, formed our own little crew of guys and we started working out together to compete in the Army Combatives Tournament, which John went on to win. I think effective leaders establish an environment for positive growth, for self-improvement, for reinforcing uh, individual goals building an atmosphere of trust and, and effort and, and the way you do that, you know, through consistent leadership, being present, um, leading by example. It's something that I learned through uh, the gar current garrison commander here, Colonel Hedrick. He was um, a battalion commander at Fort Benning when I was a company commander, so I was able to see that example and, and follow that, that lead and, you know, saw it pay off in my own life and I tried to replicate that for other soldiers to inspire them to, to do the same thing and set the conditions for success. That's what good leaders do. His leadership has been instrumental in organizing um, our team and also um, helping push us to another level. Colonel Hedrick has a saying that he, he, he told me when we first met, it's uh, conceive, believe, and achieve. So conceive your vision, believe in it, and then go out and achieve it. We have a high standard to meet, and that's what we're, we're, we work for every day. We're gonna accomplish the mission, and we're gonna bring home medals from, from Rio.